everyone. Uh, we're going to be diving into the next part of this PC build. Um, so we we flashed the BIOS, so we're ready to start uh, installing the CPU and RAM, and then hopefully we can turn it on and see everything light up. Um, so our first step here is we're going to want to remove, uh, like, as I mentioned in the last video, um, uh, the, the Risen 500 C series, the third generation, the Zen 3. Um, the included fan with it is, um, is a screw-based fan, you just screw it into the motherboard. Um, these guys are retention brackets for the uh, Zen 2 uh, included cooler. So we need to remove these brackets. That's that's going to be our next uh, our next port. Um, all right, so let's find a let's find a screw that's going to fit this. Or the driver the driver is going to fit this. We kind of look fine. Let's, And these brackets, you want to you don't want to just throw these out. You want to save these in case you need them later. But um, you might need some kind of water cooling solution that can um, be bracket based. All right. And I should be should be occasionally touching this. Um, I don't know if you if you've noticed uh, from the previous video, but I actually. Uh, ended up removing uh, the carpeting around uh, where I'm working, um, just as a precaution. Um, I know some people have fully carpeted houses, and in which case, uh, you know, you can't really can't really do anything about that. Um, but just always be always be touching this guy here while it's plugged in, plugged in but off once again. I want to remind you, and if you, if you didn't watch the last one, uh, make sure it's in the zero position, which means off. Uh, more. All right. So we have that. All right. Let's uh, let's open up and have a look at our uh, our processor here. Let's see. Uh, can I open this up without needing a scissor? Because I don't have that here. Um, let, me, let me go get a. I can actually pause the video and get a scissor. Hey folks, well, sorry about that. Uh, did need to get a pair of scissors, but now, now you know. <laughs> That's one of the items that you need. Um, Continue your build is a pair of scissors to cut open the uh, the uh, CPU box here. Sure, when I got this box open. Jesus, there we go. All right, let's see. Some included uh, material. Got a nice little sticker there. And then here's our fan. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Very carefully. There we have our processor. Uh, make sure that we're grounded here as we touch it. And uh, you want to start by first swinging this arm open. 
it's gonna and allow us to place the CPU in it. And then you wanna check, uh, you can see right here, there's, uh, I suppose you can't see it, but there's a little marking right there um, indicating that you want to match it up with uh, this icon here. There's a little, little tiny triangle, tiny little golden triangle right there. And I wanna match up to the marking on the motherboard. So let's go ahead, let's take this guy out. Just gonna very carefully place it. And there we go. Uh, you don't have to apply any pressure to it, which you just can easily slot in, which it has. And you just Lock it in like that. So now we've installed our CPU and we're gonna go ahead and install our fan. This is the most stressful part of uh, building a new computer is always putting in the CPU and putting in the fan because it's so uh, precise. You never want to, you never want to mess it up. Uh, let's touch again, make sure, and then there's our fan here, and I don't believe there's any orientation on the fan. I just want to make sure that it just kind of sits like that on it. Um, let me go ahead and check. I don't believe there is any um, orientation. Sorry about the little break there. I didn't want to check to make sure that uh, there's no orientation here. And there, the only caveat is that you got to make sure that these uh, fit there. Uh, and you do also want to make sure that this is close uh, to our CPU fan connector. Um, let's check where that is. CPU off and CPU fans. Let's see. Four pin. Yeah, CPU fans labeled CPU fans. So <laughs> this is where our this is where our connector is, uh, our power connector. So let's make sure that this is. Uh, I think we want to orient it like this. Just kind of plug in there. Alright, so we're just gonna carefully place this in here. I should mention also that the included fan already has thermal paste attached to it, so you don't need to apply any additional thermal paste. And you want to go um, with any kind of uh, thing where you're screwing something in. You want to make sure that you're. Should I go this way? No. Let's see again. You want to go diagonally. And. Just make sure that we're not going to be hitting anything. Hitting any of those capacitors, some capacitors on the side. You watch out for. Uh, let's see, see the screw. Yeah, it's just not. It's not that close to the. Uh, Let's 
it's a bit too tight. So I'll move this a little bit. Seem to get any purchase on it. It's a line, but it's just a little bit too, like too tight over here. better. Oh, it's a pop off of there. Let's, uh, try this one here. Let's see. Let's see, we're actually getting it's ripping off quite a bit. In. That one's in. That one's in. This one. So I was saying, what, what you want to do here is you don't want to completely tighten one of the screws. You want to get one of them on a little bit, and then go to all the other ones and screw them on all a little bit. Uh, and that's looking. Pretty good. Um, this is the other kind of nerve wracking part of this. <sighs> so your fan, if your CPU is not cooled, uh, you can do a lot of damage to it. So uh, I think that's pretty. Not sure how tight you want to screw it on here. Um, See if there's any. Hmm. And once again, I'll touch to make sure that we're not uh, going to shock anything. Yeah, I mean he's. Uh, you can see the the instructions here I'm reading are kind of bare bones. Um, it's kind of like yeah, so tighten it as much as you can. I feel like it's on pretty good though, and it's got some springs so that it's not gonna. Uh, don't need to get it too tight. Does kind of tighten at some point. There we go, that's tight. Tighten this one. All right. All right, that's that's on pretty good. Let's go ahead and install the little fan here. And as you can see, there's a little. Uh, notch on the top or this is the notch here you fit it into this little groove uh, 
and use the technical term of notch and groove. Um, so let's just connect that. All right, so now we have our CPU installed. And now we're going to move on to our RAM. sure that our discharge any static electricity because RAM is notorious for um if, if you shock it it will do a decent amount of damage. So pop this guy out. There we go. Alright and these are um one side you can see that there's a notch in the center each of these RAM chips. Um, this is slot number one, uh, DDR4A1. So we're gonna put it there. Um, you, if you're installing more than one RAM chip um, to get dual channel support, you uh, do need to follow the instructions about where you're installing the RAM. Um, but because we're only installing one chip, we're gonna install it in A1. Then I actually tell you where to install it, but I'm assuming A1 is where they want it. Um, and as the, as the um, installation manual suggests, it's a foolproof design because you can only put in RAM in one direction. Um, and actually, we do need to flip open these notches. And then I believe this is the correct orientation. It does appear that way. One side is longer than the other. Uh, it's real close to the CPU. I'm not worried about that. You push it down, these things lock in, the tool snaps. Um, all right, so here we are, we're, we have all of this installed. Um, the problem that I think we're gonna run into is there's no on motherboard power button, um, which I've had on previous computers. So what we're gonna have to do, um, and you, you can't see this because this is kind of off screen. It's gonna remove all of this. From the case, and then we have our case here. Um, you can't really see it because it's off screen. But uh, for right now, we just need to get at that I/O connector um, and uh, connect that up to um, the motherboard to give us a power button to power on the computer. Uh, so I'm gonna. So just make some room and move this uh, computer here. I'm sure, I'm sure this is a fantastic video. Um, actually, let me, you know, let me let me pause the video and we'll come back, and uh, we'll have the uh, case out and ready to get um, connected. Hey, folks. So uh, this is our computer case here. Um, you can see it actually has, uh, one of the nice features here is uh, it has these uh, screws here that you don't even uh, need to use a screwdriver on. You just hand, hand screw these. Oh, oh, maybe not. Try to unscrew it and it's not, it's not having it. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's go. Our screwdriver bag and unscrew these. Uh, obviously, that'll be a little bit easier to unscrew that. Uh, let's see. This one here. This one here ought to do it. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. I'm just trying to get access once again to the IO, uh, the power button. So there'll be some cables. It's kind of tough to remove this. Uh, all right. And generally, if you're if you're building a new computer, it's usually so you have a, a cup or something here so that you can uh, store all of your loose screws. Because you, as you do this, you'll get more and more screws. Um, so I'm just. Uh, let's see. 
and squeeze, but as you can see from such a uh, such an empty desk, we're able to uh, to find hopefully able to find the screw. And because I'm recording this, I can probably check the tape, see where I left screws. <laughs> so what that fits. Uh, oh, maybe I was not supposed to remove that pulley. Oh boy. Oops. Oops. Alright. So, I'm just gonna uh, put this off screen. And, as you can see, this is what we're working with. Um, HD audio. That's nice, but something to need. Um, step on something? It seems a little bit. Got another, got another cable in here. Um, this, this is USB, we don't need that, and this is what we're going to need, power SW, we don't even have a, we don't have a riser or anything in here, it's a little bit disappointing, uh, there's some more cabling down here. Maybe not the best design. Uh, some more cable down here. Is it for? Oh, this will just especially through here. Let's see him poking through. Uh, this is a little bit of a strange configuration here. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can move this. This would be the front front area of the computer. Um, let's, let's take a look at it set down. It's an easy way for me to access these cables. Management up here. This is the some cabling that's running along here. Um, so confused about do I have to remove this? Why is it not screwing from the other side? Uh, huh. Let me see. If some instructions with that. Yeah. 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 I'm a little bit confused about uh, I mean I guess, I guess if I installed it it would go right here and I guess that wouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, I think this is the uh, there's a lot going on in this thing. Panel. Alright. Well, usually with. Uh, I feel like it's more and more worth it how they, they have a little riser that you can attach all the cables to. Uh, that seems to be the case with this. The cables are not very long. Uh, I kind of want to just get access to the power button. Power LED, power S, power switch. What's this thing? This is reset. Hard drive LED. So what do we have up here? We have USB. We have audio. Power, reset button. Power button. I feel like I'm looking at all of them, but man, they do not give you uh, much room in here. So maybe I think we're gonna have to install it in the case at this point. Um, which I was hoping to do uh, 
in a later maybe in a later video, but I think I think based on what I'm seeing here, there's just not enough slack in the cable to have it outside the the case. All right. Um, so then we do need to find need to find some case screws here. So it appears that the, the riser actually comes from the motherboard. Well, I'm glad I started digging around to find it. Uh, I also expect some screws. I'm just digging through the uh, motherboard here, motherboard box. Um, yeah, I'm a little, a little confused where the uh, screws for it would be. It's not. Risers on here, but I don't see any screws. A bag of screws or something? There's a little box here. box that's embedded in here, but I don't... It's similar events. I think there's like a box stuck in here. Um, probably has the case screws. It feels like it feels like I'm, I should be able to remove something. Um, hmm. You know, maybe let's. I, I feel this is unfortunate because I can't really. <laughs> I haven't really tested it. Um, let's pause it for a moment. I do need to. I think I do need to do a bit more research on this case because, like I said, I can kind of see a box in there, but I can't. Can't pull it out for some reason. It's held in, um, and uh, I don't I don't see any way of getting access to this uh, except maybe by removing the screws. Um, so let's let's pause it. I'm going to do some research about how to uh, get access to the, the case screws, which I assume are in that box that's embedded in here. Um, I will say that's a very unfortunate design for this. Um, I'm not sure why they wouldn't include some kind of instruction manual. Um, that's that's disappointing. You know, it would have been a small piece of paper that probably would save somewhat of the hassle that I'm experiencing right now. Um, all right, so let's pause the video there, and I'll catch you after the break. Uh, hey, folks. So, um, I, I do feel a bit silly here, um, because I had forgotten that, of course, a case has two sides. <laughs> well, it, I suppose it has six sides, but, um, I had forgotten that you can remove the back of the case. <laughs> um... As you can see, you can get access to all the uh, the cabling um, through this little port over here. Uh, I don't know what this guy is. Uh, what is this guy? I don't know what's stuck on. 
There, it's the only one that's tied there. <laughs> I don't know what that wire is going to. Um, but you know what? Whatever. Just let's let that wire do whatever it wants. Um, the important part here is that we got access to the, um, the power connections, the reset button. I can even hook up the USB or um, audio. Um, but that's not really. <laughs> it's not really that important. Um, uh, what I did want to mention, though, uh, is this uh, this box was embedded in here. I think this might be in like a hard drive, hard drive area down here. Um, I did want to mention this. I had to basically tear this box apart <laughs> to get it out of there. You can see it was I don't know if it was screwed in there or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I did want to mention that's, uh, you know, that's kind of a poor design decision there. <laughs> it actually has the instructions for the case in it, um, and screws, wire ties, that sort of thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I did, I did want to mention I, I, that that uh, really should have been just somewhere maybe taped inside of it or something. Um, there were better places to put it. And certainly, I, I don't, it looks like almost they screwed it inside the case. That's that's not great. <laughs> that's not a great design because I can't, I don't even really know how to get proper access to there. Um, all right. So, let's go ahead and uh, connect up our power and reset buttons and LEDs. So what we're going to do um, is, uh, included with the motherboard, is what's called a riser. I, I believe it's called a riser. Um, I'm just kind of guessing here. Um, what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to want to install, um, you're going to want to install these into this riser, which tells you where to put everything, and then you just plug that directly into the motherboard. So it's kind of an, it's, it's, it's maybe simplifies you having to plug each one of these into this motherboard one at a time. Um, in this case, all you need to do, uh, let's attach that to make sure I'm not carrying a ton of charge. All you need to do is, is uh, uh, install these wires into this riser and that riser into there plug in all these little things into there. So it's gonna work on you know what we got our we got our scissor down here. Let's go ahead and just cut into this thing. Alright. Kind of interesting. It doesn't actually appear to have the, the bit that's actually the some pins. Let's see if there's anything else in the motherboard box. Um, I don't see anything like a riser. Uh, what's this little paper say? G connector. Uh, G connector, all right. Let's see. So, let's see. This is power, SW. Let's see, all the way up here. Power LED. Okay. I gotta kind of orient these correctly. Looks like this. Mm 
She now has just a hold these in here. Hold on. Ah, hold on. All right. Uh, let's see. We got speaker. We don't have a speaker. I actually feel like that's kind of an unfortunate thing about newer cases and uh, motherboards and that sort of thing. Is no one really has a speaker. And that's more on the case manufacturer than the motherboard manufacturers. They're still supporting them. They just don't have them anymore. Hard drive OED. Reset switch. All right. So let's do. Uh, here. Looks like the reset switch doesn't actually have a positive or negative on it. Uh, I saw a power LED. Uh, what's this? Oh wait, there we go. What's this? What's this? What's this? It's unlabeled. <laughs> it goes, oh, it goes to the fan. It's a fan connector. Uh, all right, that's, uh, that's interesting. I don't know what this is. This might be the might be the power lady. I don't know. Two pins. I don't know what that's going to. Uh, maybe there's one. No, we only really need the power button. I wish we had to wish we figure out where the power LED was. So it's part of this cable that's wrapped around here going someplace, but I don't really know where it's going. Uh, attach this. There we go. That's attachable. Uh, I'm still not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure where that... Uh, this mysterious cable is going. Um, might have to explore a bit more uh, in the manual for this thing. Um, all right, uh, let's go ahead and let's rotate this and plug in this. So this is F panel. I'm going to rotate this and we're going to plug it in and see there's uh, the pins are configured where there's some blanks here so I'm going to kind of put it in one direction. So let's push a little bit closer and let's plug this into here. in. All right. Um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and fire this up. I'm trying to get this out of the way of the fan. Um, and let's, I suppose we could hook in the case fan too, but you know what? Just just to see, just to make sure that the RAM and CPU work. Let's go ahead. We're gonna flip the switch here. 
the lights. Let's go ahead and turn on. All right. I see the fan going. I see the lights coming on. Um, that, uh, that certainly looks like uh, a working computer. If I ever could see one, I wish I knew what that LED was. Looks like it's VGA. Um, CPU, boot, and RAM are all off, which I assume is good. Um, it looks like it's working. And I guess we don't even need a, a power LED because this, this LED is illuminated. Um, and I think what I was going to, I'll go ahead and turn it off now. Um, let's hold it and make sure. Oop. Oop. <laughs> I want to turn it off. think that holding it would just turn it off. There we go. All right. Um, it's weird that's still illuminated. Um, I guess that's a feature of it. One of the nice things I've noticed about this, and I don't know if I mentioned this in the last uh, video, one of the nice things about this fan I've noticed as uh, this power supply unit is it spins down when it's not actually needing that fan, um, which I'm not sure if every power supply unit does. I feel like most of them just kind of go endlessly whether they need it or not. Um, all right, so uh, it looks like everything's working. Um, I think the next step is I'm gonna pick up some um, storage for this thing, uh, get it installed, uh, try out that video card in this thing, make sure I can actually see everything. Um, all right, so everything everything's looking good. Uh, Adios.